the reindeer migration is one of those wildlife wonders of the world. Kai is one of those hunters lucky enough to have experienced it, thanks to his Norwegian friend Trigger and brothers Ole and Inga. These reindeers are migrating all the time, always against the wind. That's their system of surviving. Um, they always seem to follow the same tracks as uh, they've done for thousands of years. As so, uh, forefathers used to use for trapping them. Uh, we now are sitting in such a position near one of those tracks and we're watching 360 degrees around, good view. So we will see if they're arriving and can make us ready in good time to take one if there's one that we can shoot off the group. We edited and published Kai's adventures in late 2015 and thought we'd included all of his hunting and cooking exploits, including local speciality reindeer testicles. Taste of pure nature. He reminded us last week that one meal slipped through the net, trout caught in the mountain lakes below the cabin. Now the stew's cooking quite nicely in there. I'm going to spend a, about an hour or so having a nice fish just in that lake just down there. We're just going to be spinning today. I'm not a big fisherman. I used to be, but I have not done it in a long time. So it's quite nice to just be able to just chill out for the evening in paradise, throw the spinner in the water and see what we can get. Now the, the fish in here is brown trout, so that's what we're going for, which will make delicious eating for breakfast tomorrow or maybe even dinner. So let's see if we can get anything. Oh, I've got one. That's not too bad. I've been here for literally five minutes, probably my third cast, and already we've got a, a decent sized brown trout for the table. I grew up in North Wales to the age of about eight. I still consider myself very much Welsh. And I remember taking up fishing when I was very, very young. And my dad used to take me out and we used to go on the floats. Not much fly fishing back then for me, but it was mainly on the float fishing. But um, I absolutely loved it. And that's what kind of got me into wild food when I caught my first eel, actually. So coming back to doing a bit of brown trout fishing is quite fitting for me. In, a, in an area like this. Yep, we've got another one, very close. Come on. It's a nice size one. Another very nice size trout. This is amazing. Been here about 10, 15 minutes. We've got three. One more, we've got one each. Beautiful fish, beautiful colours. They'll be excellent eating on the barbecue tomorrow evening. The Welsh wizard hasn't lost his fishing mojo, and in no time at all, there's plenty to feed the hungry hunters. The fire's going right now. We're going to put butter, lemon, good seasoning, wrap it in foil, and put the fish on the fire. It's that easy. So, first, we left the fish intact. We've gutted the fish, we've cleaned them out, so there's a nice clean cavity there. And all I'm going to do is going to start slicing some of these lemons now. And I've got some slices of butter here, good quality butter inside the cavity. And this will help keep it moist in the middle as well as give it a good rich flavour. Some salt and some pepper and some basil or in Norway's basilicum. Is that correct? Perfect. Good, good, good. In the cavity and on the outside. And that's one done. Now I've got some foil. Now these are ready for the fire. We're just gonna go down now and stick them on the barbecue. Isn't this lovely? out in the middle of nowhere with a fish that we caught yesterday using the spinners. 
lovely, lovely, lovely brown trout and literally simple recipe just with butter, lemon, good seasoning, a little bit of basil that I had in the cupboards. We're going to stick it on the fire and cook it. Cook it slowly now for, well, say slowly, cook it for about five, five minutes around there. Now I've just raided the cabin, got some stir-fried vegetables we're going to use with the trout. There we go. Looks like that's almost pretty much done. You can see the eyes gone white, which is a good indication. Looks pretty good to me. Uh, delicious. Smells good as well. Yes. For the rest of Kai's reindeer hunting films, look for the link in the description below. There are two different hunts, one of which has had more than three and a half million views. And there's one explaining how to cut down and pack whole reindeer carcass into a backpack.